Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to season one, 2024. I know we're still in 2023, but it is the season of iRacing that starts just before Christmas. You're here for the B, B League at Summit Point Raceway, a, a classic for all the drivers. Really takes them back to the start of iRacing periods. And as you can see, my name is David Whitehouse, and I'm the broadcast and commentary team for this season. And we're hoping to do the whole of the 2024 campaign. But at this moment in time, everybody is now in qualifying. So we're just going to pop the qualifying results up on the or current qualifying up on the screen at the moment. And as you can, oh, why is that gone away? So in qualifying at this moment in time, we do have Fraser Smith on the front row, 6.4K, a really strong start to the season for him if he could take victory here. And as we know, um, we've got many other drivers who pop into his top split every now and again. Names you may recognize from last season. We have Fraser Smith in. We have um, Alan Degras, who you can see on your screen at this moment in time. And there's Nick Aronson going round. Uh, we also have Sander Vanderberg, and we also have Peter van der Nord. Peter van der Nord, a um, common f name in the Formula Ford ranks. Robert Mansfield is also there, so it's going to be fun for everybody. Sorry, Fords on Monday, we're calling it. Sorry, sorry, Beatrice. Um, Fords on Monday. So it is the Fords on Monday league. And Alan Degress just in qualifying right now. Eight tenths down in seventh place right now. So we'll just see how he does as he comes across the line. We'll ride on board with him through this tricky chicane on the final part of the lap. Oh, we'll, it's flicked to Nick Aronson, sorry, not um, Alan Degress. So we're just going to bring it round towards the end of the lap. Nick Aronson coming round and actually coming into the pit. So he's done for qualifying. Here's Sam Carasala who's coming around the final corner in the Red Bull liveried car, hoping to perform like Max Verstappen has this season. And as he comes across the line, he was half a second down and he is now still half a second down. So he's just staying out there for a bit more practice. Looks like most people who are going to qualify have probably put in a lap now, but it's such a short, as we as I just say, that Cameron Castro comes across the line in sixth place in car number 11 so remember just a few details that everybody might need to know as qualifying is now finished so everybody has decided to skip to the grid so let's have a look at our grid order for tonight's race fraser smith on pole position from daniel mump nick aronson in third from sam kervasala from america then it's nicholas kyle bring it up the UK entry in fifth, Cameron Castro in sixth, then Lucas St. John and Alan Degress round out row four. Doug Crosby and Peter van der Nord is in tenth. Then we have Regis Simicovitis in eleventh and Arius Panopopoulos on row six. Then behind them you have Darjo Vuk and Sander Vandenberg. Jakob Mittel, Raphael Santek, Jonathan Mole, Marcus Littlewood, David Martinez, and Robert Mansfield round out your final runners. So it will be all the drivers now looking towards the lights. Just have a look here. There is Daniel Muff on the front row at this moment. And we will flick to Fraser Smith. Here's the lights. They're coming on now. So it will be time for us to go into the race all the lights are on their way and go and fraser smith has made a brilliant start in the spitfire livery car as they head down towards big bend and it's a too wide just behind them as daniel muff and nick aronson are side by side and red bull of sam carasala trying to get involved and there's a spin there that looks like it is nick aronson who has spun out at the first corner and that has delayed some of the pack and given Fraser Smith a really helpful lead a bit further up. Nick Aronson has got going again. There he is on the position 
um, on the back of the grid, sorry. So it will not be ideal for him. And we will just see how things go as the race goes on. But now we will be coming round towards the end of the first lap. And it is Fraser Smith who leads away. He's got a nice little gap there. One second just inside the slipstream range of Daniel Muff and Sam Carasala. And then it is Nath Nicholas Carl, Cameron Castro and Luke St. John moving up one position for a sixth place. Biggest mover on the opening lap was Marcus Littlewood, but he's just been passed by Jonathan Mole down into turn two to give into turn number one, sorry, giving him a uh, position. But Arias Papalospoulos, he's off. He's off on the fi first corner. We will ha go back and have a look what happened to him very, very quickly. And I can also see that Peter van der Nord crashed somewhere on the open lap. So let's just have a look here with Arias. And he's just lost the back end and kept tried to keep on power to bring it back, but just no luck, but keeps it out of the barrier, most importantly. And also we saw Peter van der Nord has crashed. Let's have a look what happened to him. It's going down into the tight chicane near the end of the lap. Van der Nord, experienced in these cars, turns into the corner. And does he just get a nudge from behind, it looks like. So we will certainly just quickly pop back to that replay and have a look from the TV cameras as Van der Nord goes down into the corner. There's just a different line there by the 15 car, who is Arius Papalopoulos. And that has put Van der Nord into the pits because he's had to tow due to damage. Fraser Smith back out in the lead. He has kept that once. Well, it's eight tenths now. Daniel Muff and uh, Karasala are working together, just trying to edge that gap out. Behind that is Cameron Castro, a group of three with St. John and Kyle trying to work together to get that gap down and close in on the people in front. Alan de Grasse, Dajo Vuk and Simicus is rounding out your top nine with Doug Crosby up just dropped one position off the start in 10th and he's under pressure from the biggest mover off the start of the race this is Marcus Littlewood who has moved up to 11th place up seven positions so far so great start by him Luke St. John has dis has spun off the trap that's Jonathan Mole going past him so I missed that so we'll just have a look at what happened to Luke St. John as he tries to slipstream Oh, sorry, wrong person. There we go. Lucas St. John, he tries to slipstream the 11 car, who is Cameron Castro, and he's right behind him, and just it just runs into the back of him, just gets caught out by how much Castro slows, and that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven places lost, and down into eighth places lost, down into 14th place. We've also got... Daniel Muff here down in sixth place. What has happened to him? He, it's action all the way. He went off the track somewhere. I think that's the most, yeah, went off the track at turn number one when trying to close down the leader. He's managed to get back on, but obviously lost a few positions. We'll try and have another look at that from the outside cam. Yeah, he's just gone wide. And that is the accident behind that we're trying to keep an eye on. So that is why, but that has made it much simpler for Fraser Smith because Sam Carasala does not have anybody um, to work with. But Red Bull livery car trying to catch the number one car, Fraser Smith, the top ranked driver in this field. And Fraser, I'll be honest, Fraser needs a bit of a clean race as well here this week because he is currently trying to hold on to his A license in um, iRacing as well. So a clean and good victory would certainly be useful. But Carasala trying to put him under pressure. He's eight tenths behind. They've got a four-second gap back as Carasala actually sets the fastest lap of the race last time around with 57.566. But here is Cameron Castro holding on for third place at the moment. He has Carl and de Grasse and then the recovering muff just behind. And as you can see, while five seconds covers the top three, another five seconds takes you all the way down to 10th place, Jonathan Mole. So um, a very close field still here 
at Lime Rock as Cameron Castro goes to the inside to defend down into the chicane. Around the outside tries to go Kyle, but that won't quite work. Kyle trying to put a second Brit on the podium here today. Well, at the moment, we have two Americans on the podium in Carousella and Castro. Alan de Gress is back up into fifth place just behind these two. So he is having a brilliant run as it's Castro who still defends. He is driving the white line around the circuit as round the outside goes Kyle. Will he be able to make that work? He's still going around the outside. He's still got his nose up the inside. He's got his nose up the inside into turn number two. And is that going to be a position? But it switches back again. So does it go now to Castro? Castro has his nose up the inside. But it looks like the run is of Kyle. And Kyle has now got it. And here comes Muff coming back at him. Will he make it? No, he won't make it through there. But he might get a good run into the chicane. Doesn't look like it. So it is Kyle Castro. A muff with digress just behind. Back out in front. This is Fraser Smith, and he is now under pressure from the car behind. He's. We will have a look from the gearbox here of Fraser Smith, and that is another fastest lap, only by another five hundredths of a second by Carousella, but he's closing in. And these two are continually pulling away as Kyle now moves back into third place ahead of Castro. Those two must be still battling behind. But we're just looking at this position a bit further up the field for first place. Yes, Luke St. John's been off. Jonathan Mole has crashed, it says, but he's still running in 11th place. So the system just picking it up has a maybe just an off track. Peter van der Noord is a vote out of this race, a popular driver in the Formula Fords. And as they come around again, three tenths of a second. Carousel has had a brilliant lap here, and Castro has run wide at the chicane, and he drops down to eighth, seventh place at the moment, holding off Micklewood. But this is Carousel having a look for the lead of this race as a Mikitel is moving around. Littlewood's moving around. There's absolute chaos. Cameron Castro and Simovic have both come into the pits. So it is loads of things going on, but those two falling down the field due to pit. So something happened to Castro a little bit further back, which probably caused a bit of damage. Littlewood, Simovic and Castro all in. But this is the battle for the lead. Smith and Carousalis. Fraser Smith, 6.3 I rating. He wants a good score to start this season off with. Carousella, 3.3. And some really good drives at the moment. We, I look at also at, while well, these are fighting, we'll watch these down into turn number one because there could be the chance that Carousella could make a move down into the first corner. Smith goes to defend. He goes round the outside. It is a Smurf account for Carousello, but he is still the same driver, so it's just however it needs to go. But here comes Carousello looking round the outside. Isn't going to quite make it. Smith defends, and then Smith will then put his foot down and just pull a little bit of a gap. We will just see if we can see what happened to Castro. Marcus Littlewood went off and then had to jump to pits, but... Where did Castro enter the pit lane there? So we will just see. There we go. Castro. Let's see what happened to him as he comes through the chicane. Does he just lose it on the exit? Yes, he does. And that causes all sorts of chaos behind. He's trying to stay out of the way. That come. Oh, and there is where the other two got collected. And the Van Diemen painted car also had to miss. So that was a disaster there for Castro and why he is out of the race. But this is still on board with Kalsala. He's having a look around the outside. I just wonder if we can see who was in the Van Diemen sized car while we're, while we're having a look at that. Was that Lit It wasn't Littlewood. Is it Littlewood? No, Littlewood's a bit further up the field, so it must have been in front of them so it's Doug Crosby who had a great race until very shortly but this was his view of it he comes down the hill and he just can't avoid the rejoining cars and it has to be a quick 
three-point turn and get going again. But just disaster there for Crosby. Absolute disaster. And does he head to the pits? He doesn't. He just gets going again. So fair play to Crosby. Well, any damage he will continue with. Back at the front, Fraser Smith is still defending his way. He's got half a race to go. There's nine minutes left of this race. And that is the amazing thing of it. So many laps in this race because it's such a short circuit. So these two, two tenths apart, but seven and a half seconds clear of Kyle, who is holding on to third place at this moment. Not under a huge amount of pressure there, but Kawasala has a look to the inside. Won't quite make it through. Smith continues to defend. And as they come around the final corner, Smith will cut to the inside very, very early. He has to do that to make sure he gets that position. And they are side by side. Kawasala looking around the outside. Will he make it stick? No, he won't. Red Bull livery car has a look for a cut back. He won't do that. And Smith will continue to white line it down to turn two. Sticks his car in the middle of the track, just half a car, just to persuade Kawasala not to make um, any moves. You can see the gap is there. It's closing up. And as it is, it is also closing up for third place. Here is Nicholas Kyle being challenged by the recovering Daniel Muff, who has done a brilliant job, the German, to get back up into a podium chance after his off-track off excursion at turn number one. But he has to make it past Nicholas Kyle, who has made that car very wide. And it looks like he may actually get a run this time round. So we will go on board with the Nicholas Kyle car and now have a look from Daniel Muff, who now goes to the outside. Everybody defended to the inside of this corner. There's no other way, because you can't drive around the outside unless you get a really good run and Muff defends right behind them. Having a lovely view of this so far is Alan DeGrasse from California. In fifth place at the moment, car number three, some solid IR is gonna be here for him. And he could just sit and watch this because Jonathan Mole, who has moved his way up into sixth place so far, is, well, nine seconds further back as, what a move that was by Daniel Muff up the inside, going down into turn, down into that dipper corner now kyle comes back he goes up the inside into the chicane and he will take that position back no he won't daniel muff has got that position on the podium with a great move in one of the corners we don't often see it and here comes alan de Grasse. he's gonna have a look up the inside down into turn number one can he outbreak the green Formula Ford. No, he can't. And Kyle will continue on. But he is now under extreme pressure from the American who will be darting all over the back of that Formula Ford car to make sure he can try and get it through. It looks like Simicovicius has retired from the race and Marcus Littlewood is two laps down. So he's decided to continue in case there's any fallout in the race. But here is Fraser Smith continually doing his thou shall not pass routine and his pure gandolfing his way through this race he cuts to the inside Kawasala, oh so close to getting that overlap he looks for but he's gonna have to go to the outside again the red bull livery car against the spitfire and Kawasala actually got his nose slightly ahead there he's gonna keep going around the outside but Smith will probably just cut him off on exit. No, he won't. And Kawasala's off the inside, down into turn number two. And Sam Kawasala now leads this Formula Ford race with just five minutes to go. Has Fraser Smith got a reply for the American? And it looks like he might do down into this corner. He's got his nose up the inside. Is he going to make the move? He's going to try. Doesn't quite make it. And Kawasala will have the run towards the chicane. But Fraser Smith still has that nose up the inside. He's still there. And he gets on the brakes into the chicane. They're still side by side. And it's so close. But Fraser Smith's going to come out on the outside of it and take the lead of this race again. Fraser Smith saying, yes, you may have passed me one way into turn number two, but I'm going to do it the hard way. 
and just kept his nose in there and Karen Salo just couldn't turn in all the way through. But now Karasala tries around the outside again. Smith on the inside. Some great racing and respect by these two. Smith just chops the noses off of American going into turn number two this time by. And that is why he cannot make it through. Further back, Daniel Muff is extending a little bit of a gap to Nathan Kyle. But they are staying in the slipstream. So that battle for third place is not over yet. But we want to stick with this one. This is for the victory. We have four minutes left. Smith got this to the inside to defend into the chicane nice and early. And he will hold on to it through the chicane this time by. Very quickly, we will have a look further back. Here's Jonathan Mole having a bit of a lonely race in sixth place. Dajo Vuk in seventh with Luke St. John, David Martinez, and Sander de Brugge is in tenth place. David Martinez actually. The biggest one of the biggest movers at the moment with 10 places gained at the moment if he can keep hold of this position from Sander Verbrugge. But I have a guess I've missed something because Fraser Smith is now one second behind Carousella. So we're just going to have a little bit of a flick down the order and see if we can see what happened. Um, I don't, I think it was just a pass on position. This is Carousella having a look around Smith. So this is where we left him because I thought Smith would have kept the position. Carousella gets a great run out the corner. Smith defends. Did Smith get a slowdown there? Smith got a slowdown. Must have done through that corner. We will go on board with Fraser Smith on exactly that piece and see if we can see what happened. So here he goes. He cuts into the chicane. He's okay there, but he got it there. That's where he got it on exit, and that has thrown away that position for Fraser Smith. We will once again just look at it because you can always learn from these. And he just, it's so minute, as you can see him just go over the second white line there. So that is going to be a long time for Fraser Smith to try and catch up. But Sam Carousel leads. Fraser Smith there trying hard to try and catch up and put the American under some pressure. Will Carousella pick up the same kind of penalty? He, oh, that was close there. Has he picked it up? Has he picked up that slowdown? It looks like he may have just got away with it, but that was very close from the outboard camera. Here is the battle for third place. Daniel Muff leading the way for Nürburgring Esports car and now, um, Nathan, no, sorry, Nicholas Kyle in fourth place. Alan DeGress in fifth. These three are certain, if they don't crash, certain of this podium. They're eight seconds clear of Jonathan Mole, who is actually setting some really competitive laps right now. He's, as I say, he's closed about half a second on these guys recently, but I don't think it's going to be enough. But we do have one lap left coming up, and this is Cam, Sam Kalasala. He's going to come around to lead onto the final lap, but Fraser Smith is there. Fraser Smith has closed up this gap, and it's going to be a, oh sideways by Carousella. That's going to give Fraser that sniff. He's half a second behind now. As we now go on to the final lap, it looks like Carousella trying to break that toe, trying to break Smith's energy, but Smith is there. It's three tenths of a second. We are on for a humdinger of a last lap as we now look from a, the helicam. There is the two cars. Carousella leads in the Red Bull livery. The Spitfire livery of Fraser Smith looking to try and make a position up here. Can he do it? Can he get close enough to try and catch Carousella? I'm not sure he will. As they come up over the hill. And they come down towards the chicane. Smith pops out just to try and distract Carousella. I don't think it's going to work. Smith takes a little bit of a dive just to distract him. Did any of them pick up that nasty slowdown? But Smith it has got a run. Is it going to be enough down to the line? I don't think it is. And I think it's going to be Sam Carousella who is going to take victory here as he crosses the line. There we go. Sam Carousella wins it from Fraser Smith. That slowdown just killing it for Smith. Daniel Muff comes along 
in third place. Nathan Carl in fourth. Alan DeGress with a great drive in fifth place. Jonathan Mole, he will come home in sixth. Daniel Vuk, uh, Dargio Vuk, sorry, in seventh. Lucas St. John in eighth. And then we're having to look a bit further back as Daniel Martinez comes across the line for ninth and Sander Verbug in 10th. So that is your top 10 as they come across the line. And there's a bit of chaos behind because Daniel Cr Doug Crosby is having, um, has come across the line now, but there's a few passes on that final lap. We'll just try and have a look at this. Because this is what happened on the final lap out of the final chicane. Crosby on the outside. And he goes right round the outside. There's a bit of contact, but then it's just a drag race between them all to the line. And Aridson actually loses out possibly two positions on that final lap. So not the best for him. We'll try and have a look at it from Crosby's position. Before we look at the final results, this is Crosby who gets round the outside, gets in the slipstream and takes not, not just Aronson in the final lap, but also takes, uh, does he get Jakob? No, he doesn't. The results don't let him completely make it. So that is the end of that four, thrilling Formula Ford race for this Monday night's Formula Ford. And we'll have a look at our results. I haven't for once. So there is your results. Um, if they are at all readable with the sign behind it. Let's just pop a different camera view on if we can. There we go. Sam Carousella wins it. He was car number six. He wins it by two tenths of a second over Fraser Smith, who dominated that race. And that one slowdown just let him off. Daniel Muff, great recovery by the German up into third place. Nicholas Carl in fourth. Alan DeGrasse coming up into fifth from eighth place on the grid. Jonathan Moll, the biggest mover of the race. He was 11 places gained to gain sixth place overall. Great drive by the Canadian. Dajo Vuk in seventh. Lucas St. John in eighth. 10 places gained for David Martinez in ninth. He ha had a very good strong in terms of that. So um, it's just, uh, you know, way it sometimes falls for you. Sander Verbug in 10th. Jakob Mintel, Doug Crosby and Nick Aronson across the line almost together there for 11th, 12th and 13th. Robert Mansfield in 14th, a very quiet race by him, but he made the top split. That's most important. Arias Panolopoulos got himself into a bit of bother as well as Cameron Castro and Rafael Sasek. And to finish off, Marcus Littlewood is at the bottom of the order along with Regis Simkovic and Peter Vandenord. That early, early retirement for Peter, not doing his chances of victory any any good whatsoever. And that is what was a thrilling race there for the Formula Fords. Now, that's it. Summit Point Raceway has given us a great race between Sam Carasala and Fraser Smith. A great recovery by Daniel Muff to make that podium. And we will see you next, well, not next week. So all of you have a great Christmas and possibly a great New Year. And we will see you either in 2020. Well, it will be in 2024 when we will be bringing you more coverage of Formula Ford 1600 on a Monday night here on the Motorsport Magpie channel.